day-to-day uh, -day job is NCO of the shop floor, um, general fault finding on vehicles and repairing vehicles to get them back on the road and equipment safety, equipment management for the unit. Uh, when I was growing up through school it was either join the army or be a PE teacher and I went back to do my A-levels and thought I'd decide after that. Um, did 12 weeks of my A-levels and just thought uh, I've had enough of being at school so just join the army. I work on 432s which are tanks like the one you can see behind me, CVRTs, um, Titan and Trojan, the new bits of engineering kit which is the bridge launcher and the uh, mine plough kit that we've just got into the engineer unit um, and then every B vehicle going Land Rover, DAFs, Bedfords and the new man SV truck. So usually aim work for eight and then um, get a job if you haven't got one already and just crack on and then when you finish get a class one uh, to out inspect your work to make sure everything's fit and then send the vehicle back to the school. This garage is probably the same as the regular civic garage, it's just different bits of kit you're working on, but the principles are all the same. And um, obviously, there's probably a lot more faults on these vehicles than there is on civic vehicles. I would say learning is different being in the army as opposed to being at school because we're doing it for a career, we're, doing it, we're here because we want to do it, whereas at school you get made to do it. This is what we want and obviously the more we learn, the higher up we're going to get. I'm a class 2 vehicle mechanic, uh, which is civvy terms, that's a MVQ level 2. Um, going on to doing my MVQ level 3 and eventually you can get your HND out of it. So it's all good qualifications to have if I choose to do this sort of career when I get out of the army. Diversity is the main thing I enjoy. You're always learning something different, you're always working on different bits of kit and half the time you've always got a job that you haven't done before. It obviously, it being in the army is quite a male dominated environment as it would be in a garage so I expect the banter is exactly the same. But yeah, most of us girls could take it so it's alright. I think it's a good alternative to going to university because like I say, you don't have to pay for it. You get paid whilst you're doing it. You don't come out with loads of debt like you do from university. And pretty much whatever career you want to do in university, you can do in the army. Whether it be from being a carpenter to being a vehicle mechanic, they'll pay for you to get trained to do it. I love the challenge, but I also love the diversity, doing something different every day. It doesn't really get boring because you're constantly working on different kit and meeting new people is always good.